Now, tip number one that is already gonna be very controversial if you've watched other videos before. Import all of your photos using Lightroom. I know a lot of people like to import everything manually using Explorer or Finder and just copying the files manually. But I think this is a waste of Lightroom's resources. As soon as you have the software open, the moment you plug in an SD card, the import dialog is gonna pop up already. And here it's going to recognize not only the images you have on the SD card, but also the ones that could be duplicates, meaning that you've imported them before. To be sure it's detecting those, just check this box over here on the right. So my preference is to delete everything on the SD card every single day and make a backup on the computer and an external SSD, so I have always two copies. The moment that I try to import the files at the end of the second day, Lightroom is gonna recognize everything I've imported already and only copy the new files. Now here, there are some things you have to be really careful about. The first one is to be sure that you have copy selected up here. With copy, it means that you can select the folder on your notebook that you're going to copy these files to, and you're not just gonna be adding them to the catalog from the SD card, which means that the files are still gonna be only there. So you select copy, the destination folder, and here you've got a couple of organization tools that you can mess around with right now. The first one is if you're a big fan of having everything organized by date, you can have Lightroom create a folder with the specific date of the shoot and put all the files there. And the second trick here is that you can add keywords to the files. Meaning if you wanna search later for all your photos that have mountain landscape keyword, or waterfall keyword, or biking keyword, you could find all of these very easily. And although I'm telling you that you could do these two right now here, I don't use them. At least not like this. And this is because of my third tip, which is don't over organize. Let me explain. I see a lot of people creating folders with the dates or with the name of the camera or the place or even with the type of photo that they are shooting. Now, if there's any reason you wanna find these files on Find or Explorer later on without using Lightroom, okay, it makes sense to be that organized. Now, if all you need is finding a specific file once in a while, you can do it inside Lightroom. Inside the raw files, you're gonna find all kinds of exposure data, the camera name, the date, where it was shot, you can find it through the keywords you inserted, and even more if you organize the files inside Lightroom with colors or rating or flagging. Okay, so basically I'm creating a folder with year, month, and date, and the name of the place I went to. And inside I'm just putting all the files in the same folder every single day. Okay, so by now Lightroom copied all the files from your SD card into your internal hard drive. And you don't even need to worry if files were named the same. This actually should be the tip number zero. So let's go back. So I highly encourage you to have a continuous file number going on in your camera, meaning that you don't start from C000 every single day. It's just continuous counting. This way, even if it's ordered by name or by date, it will always be in order. Okay, so the next tip is backing up these files while you're on the road. As I said before, I imported all these files from the SD card into the internal disk. So right now, Lightroom is making reference to all these files internally. And a normal solution for the first day would be to simply copy the folder to your SSD. But for the following days, it can be a problem. Windows, for example, calculates first how much space do you need in the SSD before checking which files are already there. So every time it's gonna think that you need to copy all of those and might even tell you that there's no space enough. So to prevent this and also forgetting to copy something, I use specific softwares to do this backup. On the Mac, I use Beyond Compare. And on Windows, WinMerge. Both of them are gonna do the same thing. They're going to compare two folders and just copy what's different. And you can tell them to copy both ways or just one way. So what I do is I select the folder in the internal disk, the one in the SSD, and I tell them to copy only one way, meaning copying only from the internal disk to the SSD. And I run this every single day. As soon as it's done, you can check the identical items just to be sure that everything is the same. And usually what happens is that I'm gonna be editing these files until late enough for me to think that maybe I won't make it tomorrow for Sunrise, but I will. Okay, so now I'm back to the studio and I wanna copy all of those files and the edits to my backup external hard drive. So at this point, I'm gonna go to the notebook and I'm gonna choose the folder I was working on, right click and go to export as catalog. This means that all the edits, selects, ratings, everything that I did inside Lightroom about those photos is gonna be copied inside this catalog. I grab the SSD and I copy the whole folder to my workstation. Now, if I were just to import the files in Lightroom in the workstation, just like I did in the notebook, 
I would have all the raw files without any edits. But instead of importing the files, you hold Alt or Option on a Mac and you click down here in Import Catalog, it's going to import the catalog you created from the notebook with every edit. And now you're gonna be able to see the folder here on the left side, but the files are gonna be all disconnected because it's not in the same path anymore. So right click, go to find the missing folder and find where you put it in the workstation. Now Lightroom is just going to reconnect all those files and your edit selects, everything's gonna be there. This means that you can be running one single catalog in your workstation with all your trips, all your edits, everything, and every single time just import the catalog from a new trip and have it all there. Meaning that if you create a very good system to organize, rate, color, or flag the files and even keyword them, you're gonna have all of your files available to you in one single catalog, which makes it so much easier to find things. So Lightroom keeps the information from all of these files and can even keep the preview files so that you can see them, but you cannot really edit it. Actually, you could, but this is a story for another video. Now, a question that always rises up is, isn't it too slow to have just one catalog? And the answer is that it really depends. So just having one catalog and navigating through the folders or collections and seeing the files individually, it's not a problem at all. But the thing is, Lightroom is always gonna try to show you the previews of the files, the ratings, the colors. So if you're in a situation where you just created it and it has over 70,000 photographs, for example, it's gonna take quite some time for you to generate the previews and make it easily accessible. But after Lightroom's done that, it's a breeze. And now up here in the filters, you can select the files exactly as you need. You can filter them by keywords, by the camera, by the ISO level, everything. So this is where the mid-process of the workflow is about to begin. We're gonna start using collections to group specific types of photos and smart collections so that we have everything very easily accessible. Like for example, if at a glance, I just wanna see all of the best photos I have that have been edited already meaning five stars and green. In my style of organizing them, but you can create yours. All you need is to watch this video over here. It's gonna tell you everything that you need to know to have everything perfectly organized and always find your files. But remember to subscribe to the channel before, otherwise this link will not work. It will take you totally somewhere else. I'll see you over there.